Hello, Columbia Grove online family. It is Holy Week, and one part of Holy Week is the Last Supper. And uh, this year we had planned to do a Living Last Supper. And we're, of course we're still doing that, but we're doing it in a different way. This is the Living Last Supper stay at home version. So um, on April 9th, Thursday, April 9th, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, for those of you who may be joining us from other time zones, we're going to be joining together on Facebook Live to uh, remember the Last Supper and the things that Jesus said to his disciples there and the significance of that meal uh, and Jesus' reinterpretation of the Passover meal. So. We're going to be using some of the elements that would be part of a traditional Passover meal, except we don't really have all the traditional elements for that. This is the stay-at-home version. Now, in support of all of the coronavirus efforts and support of our medical workers and all those kinds of things, um, we're not encouraged. We really don't want you to go shopping for any of this kind of stuff. So, um, here in the Thompson House, we just use the stuff we had around here. So, let me just take you through some of those items and. Uh, as you, uh, as you gather them so that you can participate tomorrow night, maybe you can come up with a similar kind of list of things. We have matzah bread or some sort of an unleavened bread. This is actually a pita bread, but you know, we'll work with it. Some form of a juice or wine. In our house, we actually have um, some grape juice in the fridge, so uh, we're gonna go with that. Salt water, it involves salt, and water. You can figure out the recipe yourself. There you go. Uh, some form of, of, a, of a bitter herb. Now, um, often traditionally, uh, that would be something like a horseradish. We just didn't happen to have horseradish in the house. So, got some mustard. That'll pull it off. Got some, um, uh, th this is some just really stinking hot hot sauce. Um, it'll, this will get it done. But maybe you have some sort of a hot sauce around the house. Some sort of a mustard or hot sauce. An egg. Uh, hopefully you have an egg around the house. Now in the meal itself, it would be either a hard boiled egg or a roasted egg, but um, for the sake of our uh, purposes this year, any egg will do. Some form of a uh, carpos or something that is green. So in our case, we have some spinach and kale and we actually like the stuff here. So um, don't judge me, it's good. Um, but that's gonna be part of the meal. Uh, it, it would also ha involve something that is uh, like a harrow set or some sort of a sweet paste. Now traditionally, this would be something like a um, like an apple paste or an apple with raisins, something like that. We didn't have that, um, so uh, we're using blackcurrant jam. But you can use anything that's sweet. Each one of these elements tells part of the story. Now, the centerpiece of the Seder meal and the story of the Passover is the lamb. The lamb that's blood gets spread on the doorposts of the Israelite house and as we uh, appreciate that meal as Christians we're remembering Jesus the Lamb of God who gave his life for all of us now we didn't actually have lamb uh, we do have some um, chicken breast and um, well this year it's gonna have to do but something that reminds us that um, the wages of sin is death and that something, or in our case, someone, gave their life for us. So, friends, I hope you can join me and a bunch of others as we're gathering together online. Our creative team has put together a terrific package, some really good skits and music and things like that. But that'll be Thursday, April 9th at 6.30. Hope to see you there. God bless you.